Watch this times 12 a.m. 3 p.m. 12 noon. 6 in the evening or 6 a.m. These are powerful spiritual times. Around these times, what do you get? Picture the clock. The cross. 12, 6, 3, 9. If you pray at this particular time, at this particular time, something will shift in the atmosphere for you. Somebody hearing me? Something will suddenly shift in the atmosphere. Because in the spirit, this time frame is often a powerful portal. Rains open, heavens open, dimensions open in this time zone. And if you don't understand the importance of praying in this time, you will miss a lot. That's the first thing you ought to learn about spiritual warfare. The times you pray. And then the length of time you pray. The length of time you pray. Time you pray. Time of prayer. The length of time. Now, if you cannot pray at least for an hour, you've lost it. Your minimum time of prayer is how long? An hour. So it, it's, it's, it's good to start from 3 a.m. and pray to 4 a.m. But if you are not, e if it's not easy for you to wake up 3 a.m., make sure you don't miss 6 a.m. Once it's 6 a.m., 6.00. At that particular time, don't, don't even start from 6.001. Once it's 6, that's 6.00. Six, six zero zero. That's 0.00. Zero zero. It's an open door. That open door is for you to load into the day, into that moment, what should come out of the day. Is somebody hearing me now? I'm preaching like a layman now to everybody because the simplicity of what I'm saying now can change your entire life. Oh. Even though you're tired, put a, what do you call it, is it time watch? Alarm, 6 a.m. Somebody say 6 a.m. Say it again, 6 a.m. Put an alarm, 6 a.m. Now, 12 a.m. might be tough, but put an alarm. Once it's 12 a.m., let it blow you up. I know you're tired, Still be on the bed, yawning. Just say something. Come on, somebody says, just say something. Ah, hallelujah. Even though you don't know what to say, speak in tongues. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. You and your family must succeed. Listen, I am committed to your successes. See that? You know, sometimes we come under weakness so easily. The Bible says that the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. Are you hearing me? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. 
so when you pray in tongues your spirit is the one engaging so don't acknowledge the weakness of your flesh sometimes we think that our prayer is as strong as our flesh feels or as weak as our flesh feels see the, 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 the effectiveness the impact of your prayer is as a result of the powers the authority the abilities and the principles within your spirit can I hear amen to that source of God so when you wake up in that moment of the spirit you start praying you start praying 12 afternoon 12 a.m. 6 p.m. 6 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 p.m. 3 a.m. 3 p.m. and that is the time of prayer haven't you heard that, that, that the Bible says in Acts of the Apostles in the night hour of prayer. In the night hour of prayer. Even Peter, John, and who? James went to the temple to pray. So there was a time of prayer. The Jews understood that there was a time allocated for prayer. Oh, is somebody hearing me now? The Bible says in the ninth hour of hour, the key there is what? Hour. Meaning time to pray. Paul, I mean Peter, James and John went to the, they stopped everything and started praying. Here's the problem we Christians have. We have not yet discerned spiritual times. And that's why we, we often pray at the wrong time. We don't understand Kronos, the God of time. You think that time is just the clock ticking. Time is a God. Time is a spirit. Time is a dominion. And if you don't understand when time shifts, You age because of time. Amen. Time has a maximum control on the affairs of life. Even the Bible says that God maketh all things beautiful in his time. The Bible says in the fullness of time, Jesus was made manifest. And Jesus told his mother Mary, for my time has not yet come. Woman, what do you want of me? Do you not know that everything has been allocated to time? May you not miss your time. Somebody didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. Kali Hirahara. Don't let your laziness, don't let your spiritual weakness, don't let your stubbornness kick you out of your timing. Are you hearing the sons of God? The greatest failure any man can ever have in this life is to miss his time. I hear the harsh. See that? Don't miss your time. I see your time redeemed. The Bible says redeeming the time for the days are evil. Don't play with your times. Are you hearing me? You see that? Whatsoever the devil has stolen from your destiny due to your carelessness, due to your stubbornness in the spirit, due to your disobedience, is hereby restored. 
the God of many chances, the God of mercy, the God of grace. He shall restore the days that the canker worms have stolen from you. I'm not done yet. Now, the time you pray is important. Somebody said the, the length of prayer. I hope you heard me. Can I hear that loud and just the length of prayer? Say again, the length of prayer. Say again, the length of prayer. Say again, the length of prayer. Shout hallelujah. The length of prayer. So Jesus says, why can't you watch at least for an hour with me in prayer? So we're not downloaded that revelation that Jesus would want us to at least pray for an hour. Time of prayer, the length of prayer. These are keys to effective spiritual warfare. Time to pray and the length, the time, the length of prayer. At least an hour, you must engage in prayer. Where to pray is the next point. Where you pray. Where you pray. How to pray. Where you pray. Someone said, where you pray. Time of prayer. Length of prayer. Where to pray. In as much as Peter, James and John, the Bible says, had the gift of talking in tongues. They can pray in tongues. They can pray by themselves. But there was a place they called a temple to pray. They knew the hour of prayer. They understood the effective place of prayer. They also understood the length of prayer. Amazingly, that the only thing that Peter asked Jesus to teach him how to pray. Oh. It didn't. It is uh, teach me how to do a miracle. They have watched Jesus perform miracles. They have watched Jesus do signs and wonders. But they walk. I sat down for one day and I asked myself, why would Peter, why would the twelve be more interested in asking Jesus to teach them how to pray? It now meant that Jesus spoke a lot about what? Yeah. Prayer. And they watched Jesus pray more than he preached. You want to go and preach, your, your, your prayer life is dead. You will die. One little demon, eh? <laughs> Everybody wants to go and do it. Come on, act. Spirit, come on. The demon you are casting at eh, is an ancient god. Is an ancient, what? An ancient, this guy was there before your great, 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 great. They were created in the heavenlies. They are not boys. They know your weaknesses. They can boom. <laughs> Show me how many church folks we are casting out demons, if not the only the apostles. Show me. All the church folks were under the covering of the teachings and the doctrines of the apostles, raised as a corporate body of Christ. But they go out preaching the gospel, getting souls won to Christ. Some cases they brought it to the apostles. Some cases they brought it to Moses. God said to Moses, "Say now, nah, and 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 I will release my spirit upon some." But some cases they could not deal with. They had to bring the pace to the man that has the anointing. But before Moses got the anointing, he traveled often to the mountains. He was crushed. How many years did it take Moses to qualify? When he left Egypt, 40 years in the wilderness. And he became 80 years to qualify to carry the mantle. 
Today, under few few months, like an amasa, like an amasa, like an amasa, like an amasa, like One little attack from the pit of hell will destroy them. You see, somebody will come and be, ta- and be, ta- and be challenging me. I started 1986. I only begun ministry nine two thousand and ten. I died and woke up. I've gone through hell. The thing that this anointing is came overnight. There were times it looks as though heaven was locked against me. It's not a joke. You must be a man of prayer. Peter asked Jesus, teach us how to pray because Christ told him that for everything to work, there has to be a life of prayer. Amen. They were challenged how Jesus prayed. They observed Jesus pray. So what could make a man to pray all night? And then he did exploits all day. He goes back again and prayed all night and did exploits all day. (laughs) So, places of prayer are in your privacy. If you cannot pray in your private times, if nobody knows you're praying, then you have succeeded. If you have developed a prayer life which nobody knows, if you are the type that prays and for people to see you, forget it, it's fake. You are getting the energy from the praises of people. Uh, (laughs) I prayed for two hours today. Are you saying it to intimidate us? Amen. I prayed for four hours. No, a prayer is not about what people should praise you for. Praise is a secret. In fact, your secret life should be a life of prayer. Because if you have an effective private life of prayer, you will see the manifestations in the physical realms. get the full message, call us on plus 2721-510-4029 or email us info at spiritrevelationchurch.org. Pastor John at spiritrevelationchurch.org.